What is going on? We are live. What's up, y'all? Happy Wednesday. How are we doing? Had to make sure I wasn't muted still. <laughs> We're here live once again. I hope you guys are doing well. Having a great Wednesday so far. Let me know if you can hear me and see me and everything. I was having a little bit of technical difficulties. I was actually trying to get my second camera to work today just in case we need it. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Hello from beautiful, sunny Michigan. All right. Keenan is here. We got some folks. Lone Star Trent. Frederick is here in the chat. Let me switch this to uh, live chat and make sure I see all the comments coming in. How are we doing today? This week is good. It's been a good week so far. Uh, let's see. You guys, let me know if you can see me and hear me. Make sure. Let's see. How's the stream looking? Stream okay? I want to make sure you guys can see me and everything is going well. Looks good. Sounds good. Okay, cool. I did forget to do my... We're going to get rolling here in just a second. You guys bear with me. We'll let some people join this chat while we're kind of getting set up. If I lose, your, if I lose the feed for just a second, bear with me. Um, let's see. Hopefully I don't. Oh, did, you, did I lose you? Let's see. Trying to get my live chat widget working. I was a little behind on that. Oh, all right, are we back? <laughs> Super chat. Craziness going on. Let's see. All right, let's see. Let me see if my chat <laughs> is uh, working here. Lost the video. Sorry, guys. We're back. Brian, thank you, Brian. Let's see. All right, is that working well? Good, good, good. Thank you. Sorry. Appreciate y'all's patience and <laughs> bearing with me making it rain. <laughs> Lone Star Trent. Oh, Brian, Frederick, Lone Star, what's going on, you guys? Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, thank you for being here and uh, helping with the chat as well. Brandon Banks, what's going on, Brandon? Oh, from Myrtle Beach, what's going on? Awesome, I'm actually representing, not Myrtle Beach, but South Carolina. We've got my uh, Hilton Head shirt on right here, so uh, good to see another fellow South, South Carolinian here. Uh, let's see, Scott, Clyde, Turin, all right, Baba is trolling. What's going on, everybody? Larry Thomas. All right, uh, I hear and see. I hear and see you fine. I think it's much less distracting when you keep the TV off, like it is now. <laughs> the TV is actually on. It must have just been a dim, uh, a dim. Uh, what do you call it? Screensaver going on, but it is on. I got a little Apple Home. Uh, what do you call them? The um, the Apple TV screensavers up there right now. So, yeah, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, a little chaotic start. I was right before the stream trying to get my second camera working and I think we're good, just in case we need it. I don't know if we'll need it. That's not it, sorry, let me get my buttons right here. All right, there we go, second camera working, my little busted up hand, <laughs> you can see. I'm not doing much with that hand anyway, so I don't know why I even bothered to set up the second camera. But if you are new here or first time joining us, welcome. Uh, and if you've been here before, welcome also. We're gonna hang out for the next hour. We'll talk about smart home stuff, anything new you know, in the news. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, I'll talk about some of the projects I'm working on. We'd love to hear some of the projects you're working on. If you have any questions, now's a great time to ask me questions. Um, I will do my best to get to as many comments as I can. Uh, no promises though, but I will do my best. I do promise that. And uh, if you aren't a member, I will say you can become a member and join our member Discord server. I see we have a lot of members here in the chat, which is awesome. Great to see you guys here. Uh, but as a member, you can get access to our members Discord server where I am there every day. So you can definitely get a hold of me that way um, if you, if you want to get me for any reason or just ask questions over there in the Discord. It's a great place to, uh, to kind of spitball ideas and stuff like that and questions. But let's get rolling. How are you guys doing today? Uh, let's see here. Uh, to do, sad to see the Eve Motion Blinds Matter update being postponed. I didn't read anything about that. I'll have to look at look into that. Um, I didn't know. Did they postpone it? Good evening from the ne Netherlands. Eric W., what's going on? Whoa, George coming through. George, what's going on? George from Silver Hammer Surveillance. Didn't even get to say what's up to you yet. And George came through with a massive... 10 memberships, dude, thank you so much. We gotta make it rain again. George just made it rain up in here. Thank you so much, George. So George just gifted 10 memberships to you guys. Um, 
If you haven't seen this before, basically YouTube will just randomly pick um, 10 people, or I don't know if it's random, I don't know how YouTube figures it out, but YouTube will pick 10 people to hand those out to. And that should be, I think, one month you'll get uh, as a member uh, of the channel. Like I said, you can get that, get into our member Discord server um, and all that good stuff. Keenan, Lawrence, uh, Conman, Tulsa Skin, let's see, Richard, Fordo Arc, all you guys were gifted, gifted a membership. Eduardo, Fallout Becca also gifted. All you guys were gifted a membership from George Silver Hammer Surveillance. So thank you so much, George. Uh, also known as Silver Silver Hammer Surveillance. Guys, go check out Silver Hammer Surveillance on YouTube. George has a channel talking about smart home stuff, uh, security, and all those good things. So that is awesome. Definitely go check out his channel. Subscribe. Show him some love. Uh, least I can do for all the support you gave me and our little pop-up chat is working now so perfect thank you so much George uh, let's see all right so how you guys doing today I kind of just jumped right into this it was a bit chaotic is the stream looking okay it looks like um, my connection might be not as good as I would like it but hopefully that's not affecting the quality here and that will pick back up sometimes the internet service providers you know, it's out of my control there. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks good. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Lone Star Trent. Stream looks good. Thank you guys. Don, what's going on? Don, appreciate that. Lee Cum uh, Lee Currington uh, says, Shane or Silverhammer Surveillance, any idea how well the Akara E1 looks, looks down? I want to place it on a Tall shelf instead of a mant mounted ceiling. Let me pull my monitor out a little bit more so I can look closely at these comments here. How well it looks down? Well, um, I've got mine actually sitting on a shelf right back there. I don't know if you can see it, a little white. I think you can see it if it comes in focus. Where well, there we go, a little white thing. That is actually the Akara E1 camera. So for those who may have missed it, the Akara E1 camera was just released today. Let's see, I have the website pulled up here. So this is the camera. I don't know why I'm doing that. Why don't I just show you the box? After all, I did set up my second camera <laughs> uh, for this. Quality looks a little funny, but that's all right. You get the idea. It works with Apple. It works with pretty much everything. It does work with Google Home too. Not sure why that's not on the box. Um, at least that's what the press release said. And yeah, 2K, pan and tilt camera, HomeKit secure video support. I did put out a little short video on this um, on YouTube. I didn't release a whole dedicated video, but let's see if we can answer the question here. I'm gonna try to pull it up and I will just point it down. I mean, as far as I see, it, it does really well. Uh, the pan and tilt, let's see what room do I have this in? Might be in my test room. I've got too many homes in my smart home. Let's see, studio maybe? Yep, there we go. Nope, wrong camera. Nope, that's not it either. All right, sorry, I can't find it. <laughs> Default room, no. Where did I first put that? Oh, I think I first had it in my foyer. And then, yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, gotta turn that audio off. I kept moving it around. Oh, of course. And of course I opened up HomeKit and you can't pan and tilt in HomeKit. I was gonna move it around, duh. <laughs> yeah, somebody asked me that actually earlier today. You can't pan and tilt the camera in Apple Home still. Uh, that's a limitation of HomeKit, so you do have to use the Akara app for that anyways. Um, but I have not like done, I don't know that I've looked down. I know it goes up really well. It's a 360 degree camera, so um, you shouldn't have any trouble with it. You can actually mount it upside down too, which is nice. Um, but I've walked all around and it does a really good job at the human tracking. Um, you know, you see where it's kind of uh, sitting right now. So walking, you know, well above it, it'll pan up, you know, to kind of follow people really well. So I've been pretty happy with it so far. Here we go, 360 degree pan and tilt night vision, two-way audio. Uh, yeah, 
let me check out some of these comments. Any you guys have any questions about it? Uh, I have my Acara camera eight feet high and you cannot see under it. I can walk under it and it never sees me. I have to move it to sitting on the counter. What uh, camera are we talking about here, Ty? Um, are you talking about one of the pan and tilt cameras or one of the stationary ones? Curious. see uh da -da. yeah it does not act as a hub either like the other one so this one is a bit more affordable also i should mention there is a discount code for i think it's for the next two days that's a that's available i went ahead and put that down in the description of this live stream so if any of you guys watching want to pick one of these up it's normally 50 or 60 dollars uh let's see let me pull it up on amazon i think it's normally 60 dollars but there is a 20 percent discount that you can use again i put that and a link to it down in the description below uh, but we'll pull it up on amazon real quick i think it's 60 dollars oh where are you one thing i th i found i don't know it's kind of strange the, the naming they named it e1 camera a car has so many products that are named E1. Have you guys noticed that? It's strange, like there's the E1 hub, which is the little like dongle thing. There is the E1, um, that's also the name of the blind, little blind controller thing. And now the camera, I feel like there might be another one. Thank you, Don. Don says $59.99, that's what I was thinking there. Uh, and so here it is, of course, on Amazon. Again, 20% discount down in the description for the next two days. If you guys want to use that, pick one of these up. I mean, it does a lot. It also has um, a, an alarm system, basically, exposed to home kit. Of course, the motion sensor as well. So it does a lot for that price. Uh, really good little camera, I think. Question, have you found a new vehicle yet? Yeah, Paul, oh man. That's why I am doing a little bit better this week than I was last week during the stream. Last Wednesday, when we did the stream, I literally was like car shopping all day long, which is not the most fun thing to do, you know, talking to car salesmen all day. Uh, no offense to car salesmen, but you know, just things I'd rather be doing. I literally took a break from that to live stream last week and then went right back to car shopping the rest of the evening. Um, but yeah, finally on Friday, I drove away with a new truck. So I am done car shopping. I did get a new vehicle and I have CarPlay. So I finally have CarPlay. Kind of crazy that it has just now happened, but I do have CarPlay. So uh, yeah, really excited. I'm just absolutely loving it and uh, loving the new truck. I got a Sierra, uh, a GMC Sierra 1500 and just loving it so far. Uh, wish I didn't have to, you know, break all my stuff in order to get it, but all things considered, you know, super lucky that uh, it wasn't worse. Uh, congratulations, CarPlay all day. Yes, sir. Uh, Roosevelt D. Hi, Shane. I have HomeKit Smart Home using Hue, so is smart bulbs in my guest bedroom. My 80-year-old mom is coming for Christmas. Which smart light can I install so she has a physical light switch to use? So if you're using Philips Hue, probably the best and easiest thing is just going to be to use one of the Philips Hue switches um, and probably try to cover up your existing switch or, yeah, that's probably what I would do. It's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. Let's see. I'll show you the Philips Hue. So this guy right here is probably the one that's going to be the easiest. So if you can get some sort of cover uh, to keep her from using or keep your guests from using the actual switch, this might be the best me method. There's other things you can do, um, but in a pinch, you know, to this is probably going to be the easiest. So uh, what do you guys think? I'm not sure if anybody has any other uh, the audio sounds fine. Video is choppy. Uh, is video choppy for the rest of you guys or is that just Frederick there? 
Let me know what you guys think. Oh, a uh, good suggestion. Thank you, Lee. That's a great suggestion too uh, for you, Roosevelt D. Check out the uh, Lutron Aurora. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Uh, great suggestion. Let's see. Um, I'll show you that real quick. That is the Lutron Aurora. These things work great and they actually only work with Philips Hue, I believe. So um, it's ma basically made for Philips Hue. So if you have this type of toggle light switch right here, Okay, come on. <laughs> if you have this type of toggle light switch, this is a great solution. So yeah, great idea there. Uh, but you'll need the Lutron, huh? I'm seeing some talk about Lutron. Yeah, Lutron's great, but uh, Roosevelt D mentioned using smart bulbs. So smart bulbs and smart switches generally don't work too well together. So I usually pick one of the two. If you're already using Philips Hue there, uh, smart switches probably aren't the best bet. Lutron, this Lutron Aurora would probably be your best bet um, if you have that type of switch. Uh, I could just be on my end as I have crappy internet, uh, crappy spectrum internet. Yeah, uh, I do see that my stream doesn't look as good as I as the uh, as it normally is. So I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, video is perfect. Thank you guys. Uh, for the feedback there, so looking good. All right, we'll keep on rolling. Um, let's see, Pico Remote with Homebridge, Pico, yeah, that would work too. Uh, we're trying to keep things probably simple for, uh, let's see, for Roosevelt D, because if you already, you know, if you're not using Homebridge, I'm just assuming, um, I usually will assume somebody's not using Homebridge and trying to do all that stuff. I did just recently, speaking of Lutron switches, I've got them all sitting right over here. Check all these out. Recently, took out a bunch of them, been replacing them. So I shared that on Instagram and I was just like flooded with messages. People were saying, oh, what are you using? What are you switching to? I'm switching to more Lutron <laughs> um, because, you know, Lutron is just great for smart switches. But I did take all these out. I'm gonna see if I can find a place for these maybe like in, on the second floor or it's kind of secondary locations. Uh, but I want on my main floor, I'm switching to the Lutron Claro and those Diva smart switches because uh, you know, they're, I just love them and the wife actually really likes them. So um, we're gonna be going to that on the main floor. Uh, Lone Star Trent, are you still using the Wi-Fi 7 router or did you go back to the original, your original? Yes, I am using Wi-Fi 7. So I switched, uh, I guess it, the, to answer your question, depends which one you're talking about. I've tried two Wi-Fi 7 routers now. So I switched from, I was using the Netgear Orbi 6E router, the mesh system. Then I switched to the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 for a little while. And then I switched to the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 7. So that's the one that I'm currently using right now. Um, it's actually back there. I'm not sure if you, you probably can't. That little white thing, that's one of the satellites. So that's the one I'm still using here. Does Nuki Smart Lock 4.0 support home key? Let's check it out. I'm not too familiar. I just read something about this. In fact, you know what, thank you for bringing that up. I think that was on my list of things to talk about. I have a link from The Verge. Here we go. The first smart lock with matter over thread. So uh, maybe this will we'll get to answer your question here. So matter, so this is the first smart lock with matter over thread. And Nuki, this is, um, yeah, like it says here, European style door locks. So that's why I'm not too familiar with them because I've never used Nuki locks. They're definitely more prevalent over there in Europe. But this looks like the first matter over thread. So we have matter smart locks already and we have thread based smart locks already. But I think this is the first matter over thread that we've seen. So... Let's see, so right now, if, I'm not sure if it supports HomeKit, or sorry, <laughs> uh, HomeKey or not. I know that right now, HomeKey won't work over Matter, so 
Let's see if we can find some information here. Will support home kit. I'm not seeing it. Uh, Lawrence says, I love matter over thread. I wish there were more matter over thread bulbs and devices. Yeah, we're getting more and more out there. All right, I'm not seeing that. I'm gonna look for, real quick, I'm gonna look for the actual listing and we'll see if it supports home key. If it has, you know, it won't support home key over matter. I can tell you that, not right now. Maybe in the future, there's been some, you know, discussion about what that will look like and that feature coming to matter. But right now it's not possible. So there may be like a separate integration with HomeKit that would support HomeKey. But I'm not sure. We'll see if we can find something else. Uh, let's see, we'll keep looking too at some other comments here. Hey Shane, having issue with hue bulbs and automations. I have an automation to set the bulb to turn on at 100%, but when the automation runs, it doesn't always turn them on at 100%. Any thoughts? Oh man, Brad, it's hard to say, you know, really for sure what could cause that. I mean, just in general, typically if I'm having issues with my automations not running, um, I will, you know, restart all my home kit hubs, you know, kind of just the general stuff you do. But normally if it's an automation problem, then restarting my home kit hubs and especially the primary home kit hub, if not all of them will often help. Uh, let's see, you said it doesn't always turn them on at a hundred. So I don't know, it could be a hue thing. Maybe if it's turning them on, but not at the right brightness. I don't know. That's kind of tough to say. It's one of those things you you know, just troubleshooting until maybe find something that works. But restarting your HomeKit hubs for HomeKit automation issues is usually uh, what I will go to, my go-to anyways. So here is that listing for the Nuki Matter Lock. Turn your phone into a key. Um, still not seeing any home key discussion here. Uh, Poker McMaster, what's up HomeKit lovers? How you doing today? Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna support HomeKey. It doesn't look like it. Usually you'll see pictures and stuff, you know, of somebody unlocking it with HomeKey, if that's the case. It looks like this might work exclusively with Matter and over Matter, therefore it'll support all the major voice assistants and stuff over Matter. Um, and uh, maybe not like a direct home kit integration, if that makes sense. So it doesn't look like it. All right, let's see. Da -da -da. Let's see if there's anything else on my list. I did see this too here. Let me bring this up and show you guys. You know, I love smart shades. Absolutely love smart shades. I found a new one recently. Sorry, wrong button. Uh, these recently, um, Blinds Magic. Looks like they have HomeKit over thread and even Matter over thread. They look very, very similar to, um, what's it called? Uh, smart Wings. Looks very similar to Smart Wings. Just, I mean, even the photos and everything. But yeah, they do actually have, let's see, technology, where smart home integration. These are customizable. Pricing, I went through and priced some recently, so I know a lot of you guys like smart blinds too, so I thought I'd share this. But yeah, matter, and they work over thread. Uh, so again, just another option out there. Pricing, again, looks very comparable to smart wings and even like the Eve motion blinds. But I thought I'd share that because I don't know where they came from. I just found, came across them recently. Um, but I, I actually have a bunch of smart shades coming for my back porch area. So I'm getting some outdoor shades. I'm super excited about that. I hope I'll be able to install them with this. I'll probably have to get some help to get those put up but I cannot wait to do that and get some outdoor shades for our new screened in back porch. 
Follow me over on Instagram if you haven't already because I'll definitely be sharing some of the behind the scenes stuff. It'll probably be a while before I have a full YouTube video on that come out. But um, yeah, super excited to, to get those and, and test that out. I'm, the whole project there is a little bit delayed because of you know the injuries and stuff. But um, yeah, check that out. I can't wait for that. I love, love me some smart shades. Oh, Green Arrow, love my Hunter shades, but they can take a very long time to respond. Would love a threat update. Green Arrow, so is your Hunter shades, are those Bluetooth? Do they work over Bluetooth? I have actually not used any of the Hunter shades, so um, have not tried that. You doing Lutron? Uh, yeah, I'm doing Smart Wings on the back porch. Actually going with Smart Wings. I don't know if Lutron has any outdoor shades, so... I don't know if that would even be an option. Um, I love my Lutron shades. I actually have some in the studio here, but yeah, I needed some outdoor shades and I know that uh, Smart Wings has some outdoor shades. Uh, Paul, awesome. Member chat coming through from Paul, uh, a member for 19 months. Did I read that right? Yes, 19 months. Paul, thank you so much for supporting the channel and being a member for so long. Much appreciated. Paul says, hey Shane, saw you put up your Christmas tree already. I was told I have to I have to have mine up by the weekend or else <laughs> need more twinkly, so off to Best Buy. Excuse me, uh, I have definitely been there before, Paul. Yeah, I, I kind of mentioned it on Instagram. That's probably where Paul saw uh, this about my Christmas tree. Um, Again, with my broken wrist and everything, I had to call in some help from the family to, uh, we have a massive Christmas tree. It's very large and I keep it stored high up on a shelf. So I had to get some help over to get that thing off the shelf because shelf, I can't really lift anything right now. Um, but anyways, we did get that up and I have, what did I say? I mentioned it in that Instagram story. I think I have, was it 1350? 1000, yeah, 1350 LED, twinkly LEDs, I believe are on that tree. Um, and it's because I kept adding more each year. So just like you, I'm like, oh, we need some more. Off to Best Buy, I get some more. So I've been there before. Camera focus is going crazy. Is it really? All right, let me, I'll try to look straight. Let's see. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, 1350 lights. Thank you. Yeah, I thought that was right because I ended up getting, I think I have three boxes of 250. Again, I kept like adding more instead of just getting what I needed to begin with, which was kind of, kind of dumb on my part, but it turned out okay. Thanks from North Carolina and enjoying the fall season and getting ready for Thanksgiving. I know the trailer. Um, awesome, North Carolina. Spent a lot of time in North Carolina myself over the years. Frederick came through with a member chat as well. Thank you, Frederick, for being a member and also for uh, helping here in the chat on the live streams. Frederick says, have you watched the new video by Smart Home Solver on his breakdown of several smart locks comparing all of them against each other and your thoughts. I don't know if I've seen that one, Frederick. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen that one when that was, that. Uh, I may have seen that one uh, because if it's the one I'm thinking of, it was released a little while ago, I don't know. You said it's a new video, so I, don't, I haven't seen anything new, but I do remember a video similar to that, I feel like from him, but um, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the one you're referring to. Lawrence says, oh, that's got to be a nice twinkly tree. Bless your heart for the patience to strengthen them up. The only downside to twinkly. I know, man. I know. I actually, I tried really hard to find, because we actually bought a new tree. I guess it was about two years ago. And man, I was already into twinkly and everything, you know, the smart, smart Christmas lights. And I wanted, uh, really wanted a pre-lit tree. And there are actually pre-lit twinkly Christmas trees that you can find, but um, none of them really passed, you know, the wife, the spouse approval test. You know, she had a very um, clear picture of the type of, you know, tree that she wanted, the way it, you know, the way she wanted it to look and everything. Uh, so 
we just opted for a tree that she liked that didn't have any lights on it at all. And uh, I just have to string them up every year. So, <laughs> and it was especially hard this year. And yeah, speaking of like um, twinkly lights and Christmas trees and all that stuff, we got Black Friday coming up. I guess, yeah, that is next week. That is hard to believe. And I already know there are a lot of good deals. Of course, there's always really good deals on tech stuff. Um, especially smart home stuff. It's always a really good time if you've been holding off on anything, especially some of the more pricey items uh, that maybe it's hard to justify during the year. There's going to be a lot of stuff on sale, a lot of stuff. I've been working on a Black Friday video. I'm going to bring that to you guys like I usually do. There's going to be a companion blog post that I'll do, and I'm going to keep that updated. I've got a lot of good deals. I've heard from a lot of brands already. Um, even some exclusive stuff like some special codes and things like that that I should have So I'm gonna put all that together very soon So just be on the lookout for that if you're you know interested in maybe shopping and finding some good deals uh, What I do is I basically consolidate all of the Apple home related stuff Just to kind of put everything in like one easy to find place since there's so much out there um, Around Black Friday. This will be where you can kind of find just all the Apple home related stuff. So uh, be on the lookout for that if you're, uh, you know, if you're going to be shopping this Black Friday. Alexis says, lots of love, Shane, moderators, and all the Discord members. Thanks for all the support and guidance. Well, thank you so much for the support as well. Have been a member for 12 months, so one year has been a member. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And, uh, and being a member for so long, it really means a lot. I appreciate that. And I'm glad you find the Discord server useful. Um, it's been an awesome, awesome experience over there on Discord. If you're a member and you're not on Discord yet, you should go over there and, uh, and check out the server. A lot of fun. We actually do a monthly member chat, a uh, little video chat every month over there also. Good stuff. MyQ turned off their Homebridge connector. Yeah, MyQ has not... Ah, they're not looking too good in uh, the eyes of many smart home users right now. I actually just today installed another... Well, I've been working on this one for a little while, but was doing some stuff with a new smart garage door opener. Actually, I have the box right here. I'll show you guys. Yeah. Tailwind. Sports home kit, not much to the box, uh, but I've been working on this and, you know, alternatives to my Q. So I'll probably make a video on that pretty soon. Um, I love, love having a smart garage door opener. Uh, it was actually, yes, I think the garage door opener was one of the very first things that I made smart in my house way back when I first started building the smart home. So I love it. Um, and now I've got CarPlay, a little button pops up. So cool. <laughs> yeah, MyQ wants everyone to use their paid service. That's exactly what it is. I can't stand it when those companies do that. I mean, I get it, but just don't exclude everybody the way they have. I don't like it. <laughs> um, Mike says, I got the Maris Collie. So far, it's working great. Awesome. Yeah, I've been using the Maris one for a long time now, probably close to two years, maybe longer. I did install the Collie. So the Collie is, I guess I'm saying that right. The Collie is the one that supports uh, multiple garage doors, if I'm not mistaken. So I did a, do a video on that one probably about two years ago. Um, but yeah, that's another good option right there. The Maris garage door opener is very affordable too. Uh, Tulsa Skin, still using the Maris garage door opener as well, says it works great. Akara T2 Relay, if it, if only, yeah, matter over thread. Yeah, I mean, Akara is starting to roll out thread-based products, so, you know, it's not completely out of the question. I guess we'll see, maybe one day. Uh, yes, I think if you still, if you have the MyQ HomeKit Bridge device, I think they call it the HomeBridge. 
Um, if you have that by my queue, that will still work if I'm not mistaken, but they're not selling it anymore and they're, they've like shut off access to the API so you can't use like HomeBridge or uh, Home Assistant or anything anymore uh, from what I understand. But yeah, I think if you, if you have that device, then that should still work. And you guys, um, let's see, doo -doo. yep. If you have any questions, type the word question, preface, preface your comment with the word question. I can't talk today. <laughs> um, yeah, put question in before your comment and I'll try my best to get to those. Sometimes YouTube does me a big solid and like highlights those for me. And then most of the time, yeah, like it's not right now today for whatever reason. But um, if you type the word question, it'll help kind of stick out to me. And I'll try to get to you guys' questions. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I missed any. Uh, seeing this, just saw this comment here. How exactly does the thread border antenna work on iPhone 15 Pro? So, Mr. H4S3K1, um, I don't think Apple has officially said anything on this. Um, I, what I think is that one day it's probably gonna kinda like, so like in the past, let's see, how do you say this? In the past, if you have Bluetooth HomeKit devices, like a smart HomeKit lock, uh, your phone would connect directly over Bluetooth to that lock, so I think that in the future, this thread capability will kind of replace that functionality. So if a device supports thread, um, you know, it can connect directly to your phone over thread. That's what I think instead of having to rely on Bluetooth for those types of connection connections. That's what I think, but I don't think Apple has officially said how they're using it or how they will be using it. So I don't know for sure. Uh, question, if you use the Aurora dimmer, is your light switch always hot running up your electricity bill? Um, hmm. Well, that's, I don't think it's actually running up your electricity bill because what it's doing is that Aurora is actually turning your light switch off. It, well, it's not turning your switch off. I, it's turning your actual light off. So there's really no like power going to the light, I guess. I don't know technic. I'm not an electrician. I don't know exactly how that works, but I I suppose technically your switch is always hot, but that alone doesn't run up your electricity bill because um, you need something to be drawing power in order to run up, you know, to to generate electricity to run up elect to run electricity. And if the bulb is off it's not needing any electricity. So it's, it would just be like wiring a switch always hot in the box, which um, I think it would be similar to that, which would not do that. So I don't know, hopefully that helps. Question, don't, you don't have a real tree. No, I don't have a real tree. Absolutely not. <laughs> I hate using real trees. Uh, you know, just the sap and you have to dispose it somewhere and cutting it down. I, I much prefer I get it, they smell nice and all that, but no, for me, I like the fake trees all day. We did for a few years when my, me and my wife first got together. Uh, she liked real trees. It took me a few years and finally I broke her down and we use fake trees now. Much better, in my opinion. Question, I've been having issues with Hoob's plugin lately. Any benefits to switching to Homebridge? Govi and MyQ seem to not be working for me. Uh, yeah, so again, MyQ, we kind of discussed that. I think MyQ has cut off any like I, uh, API access, so I think that's probably how the uh, the Hoobs plugin works, probably Homebridge too, so I don't think that's, that's pro that might be done. Uh, you guys, let me know if anybody's using Homebridge for MyQ in the comments, if that still works. Um, I From what I understand, I think that's been cut off. I don't think anybody can do that. Um, as far as the Govi, that should work. Uh, I use the Govi Homebridge plugin. It's great. I mean, technically, they're like the same plugin, you know, for Hoobs and Homebridge. So there really shouldn't be much difference there. Um, but, you know, I mean, you can give Homebridge a try. Uh, that's what I'm currently using. <laughs>
Oh, thank you. You said it a lot more be a lot more clearly than I did. <laughs> a switch doesn't draw power. A light draw draw a light on draws power. Perfect. Thank you. Well said. <laughs> John Cloud, question, I need a device that emits IR to control my TV and work with HomeKit. Not trying to use a car G3 camera only for IR. Any recommendations? Yeah, so there's a couple that can use, so let's see, I'll pull up Amazon first. First up, there's a couple options. There's not many options for this, for an IR device that supports HomeKit, but the SwitchBot Hub 2, this works. So you should be able to use the SwitchBot Hub 2. Has a nice little temperature humidity sensor built in. It's also a hub for SwitchBot devices and it supports matter, so you can bring in you know, other SwitchBot devices could be a good option, especially if that's something that sounds appealing to you, like using some of their other, their other SwitchBot products. I'm a big fan of the SwitchBot Blind Tilt, the curtains, um, but yeah, SwitchBot has a number of products, so that could be an option, but that is also an IR blaster as well, that hub right there. And there's another one, let me see if I can find it. I can't remember what it's called. But there's another one that came out. Here we go. Our good friends over at HomeKit News and Review Reviews uh, discuss this one. Let's see, back in August. Let's see if I can get this to pull up. The Nature Remo Nano IR Controller with Matter Review. So check out HomeKit News and Reviews for this, um, I couldn't remember the name of it, but that's it. And uh, the thing, this is an IR blaster that does support HomeKit. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, the only limitation to these, when you're, with, I think this is all the IR blasters that support HomeKit over Matter. I think you, you're only limited, I think you're limited to only three devices that you can kind of like port over to HomeKit if I'm not mistaken. So um, keep that in mind, but those two options are the ones that I know about that should work for you. Question, have you heard anything? I have not heard anything about Roborock supporting Matter. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not happening. I just don't know of anything. Uh, I did hear that, I don't know if you guys saw that recent short video that I posted, but SwitchBot, Put out a statement and they told me that uh, you should be able to use the SwitchBot robot vacuums in Apple Home by the end of January 2024. So uh, that's pretty exciting. But if that's the case, I mean, we're kind of waiting on Apple to support Matter 1.3 also, but you know, maybe they know something that's coming. If that's the case, then there's probably others that will be too, hopefully. see. Don switched to a twinkly tree last year and a vocal link diffuser and some uh, conifer oil to get the smell. Oh, that's a good idea using a oil diffuser, especially a home kit oil diffuser for, um, you know, get that fresh tree smell maybe and then it'll be like a real tree. <laughs> My cue is dead. Only folks who still have it working are by chance as their session hasn't um, expired requiring a new, okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, yeah, unfortunate, that is unfortunate, not cool. Um, like I said, Maris is an affordable alternative. If you guys are looking for an alternative, the Tailwind that I just set up recently, I'll have a video on that come out soon, hopefully pretty soon. So it could be another alternative if my cue stops working for you. Fortunately, there are some options that aren't too terribly expensive that still work really well just for a garage door opener. But yeah, just not cool. HomeKit Techie, thank you so much. We got some more gifted memberships. Man, this is awesome. You guys are in the giving spirit today. Thank you so much, HomeKit Techie. Another fellow YouTuber, guys, go check out HomeKit Techie's YouTube channel. Um, obviously, HomeKit smart home stuff related. And HomeKit Techie offered up and or gifted five memberships. Austin, Russell, Henry, Scott, and Raul were all gifted memberships thanks to HomeKit Techie. So thank you so much for that. 
and uh, you guys can thank him. And if you're a new member, come join us over in the member Discord. Uh, you should have, you know, at least a month over there. We'll do, let's see, I guess in a couple weeks, we'll do our member video chat. And um, I, I also meant to ask uh, some members over there. I might start putting out videos a little early for members. That might be something coming soon. I used to do that a little bit, but we're going to look at some more perks also for members. Uh, but thank you so much, HomeKit Techie, and all you new members. It's great to have you guys. Let's see... Eric 13 Music, what's going on, Eric 13? How you doing today? Also, use his member chat, a member for 24 months, dude. Thank you so much, so much for the support for so long. I really do appreciate that. Eric says, join slightly late, forgive if covered. I use Eufy Solar Outdoor Camera. Can you recommend another option? Must be Solar PS Go Tigers. Well, we'll let that last part slide. <laughs> the tiger part. Um, but no, let's see. I don't know if you guys, let's see. If anybody in the chat has a suggestion for Eric, let us know. Um, I don't know, Eric, is native HomeKit support a requirement? Because if so, that is going to really limit uh, what you can do because there's really not a lot of options. One, for battery-powered um, or for you know any type of solar powered. And you said the Eufy Solar Outdoor Camera, so I think that's one of the ones that doesn't support HomeKit natively. Uh, but let me know in the chat. I'm gonna try to look that one up real quick. And we definitely have not covered that yet. Eufy, let's see, what did we call that one? Solar Outdoor. I know Eufy has been pumping out yeah so that is the is that the solo cam that you're using there they've got so many different ones now um and i you know i really haven't used any of the eufy cameras in quite a while like they haven't been rolling out home kit support for any of their products for probably the last two years so kind of for that reason i don't really i haven't used any of their new products they just haven't really cared about HomeKit users or, or that HomeKit integration for a while. HomeKit connection not required since you feel, okay, okay, good deal. So um, are you looking for something other than Eufy, I guess is the question, um, because Eufy has a ton of outdoor cameras uh, and solar powered. That would probably be the ones that I would go with because they have so many, what, I wonder if that one, so I mean, they've got some floodlight cameras. What's that one that has like three cameras built in? It's massive though, I don't see that one. Let's see, it's ch checking out the comments here. Yeah, I think this is their new one right here, so if you're not opposed to Eufy, <laughs> Maybe this one right here, this looks pretty awesome. Um, trying to think of alternatives. I use real, the only non HomeKit cameras that I use is Real Link. Let's see what Real Link has. Let's see if they have any solar cameras. I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, maybe just solar panels that you can buy. Yeah, so you can hook a lot of theirs up to solar panels. I actually just installed this one, except I have the PoE version, so this is the Wi-Fi version. I installed the PoE version. Of course, I don't need a solar panel since it's PoE, but um, you know their stuff is very affordable and they work really well. So you know for the price, the bang for the price is really good with Real Link stuff. So maybe that's an option um, if you're kind of opposed to Eufy. But yeah, I, for my outdoor cameras, I've pretty much gone all PoE lately. Uh, need coverage of the sides of the house. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you're happy with Eufy, I'd probably go with one of the Eufy ones. They seem to, you know, people seem to really like them. They keep coming out with new stuff. Um, unfortunately, no HomeKit support. Uh, but that's not a deal breaker for you. 
So I might would try out those new ones. They got the pan and tilt ones and the solar panels built in. Again, I'm using PoE for all of my outdoor cameras now pretty much um, other than the Eve camera. I have that one, but that requires, you know, being hardwired. So that wouldn't be an option for you either. Uh, hopefully that helps. Yeah, let us let me know what you end up going with. And um, but yeah, I, I really wish they would make their stuff support HomeKit, man. I keep seeing all these really nice cameras that Yuffie's coming out with. I'm like, ah, no HomeKit support again. Their doorbell, ah, no HomeKit support. You know, but that's okay, I guess. Let's see. Question, are you doing your live next week? That's a good question, John. Um, I actually was thought, thinking about that earlier today. I don't know, I might. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna be in town, I'm not leaving town, so I can probably do it. You guys wanna do a live stream? Are you, are y'all gonna be around? You can be available, so it'll be Wednesday. It's the day before Thanksgiving. I don't know, you guys are gonna be off work maybe, looking for something to do. Um, I'm probably down to do it. Uh, like I said, I'll be around, I think. It'll give me a reason to uh, not have to, you know, cook or anything like that. We're not doing Thanksgiving. Last year we did Thanksgiving at my house. This year we're not. Uh, so that's that'll make things a little easier. Uh, Cheddar Max says yes. Mike says yes. Lone Star Trent is off. Do it. Turn says all right. I'll be here and up for a live stream. I'm retired, so work is not a problem. Nice. Well, you are lucky, Don. Uh, awesome. If you're streaming, I'll be there. Cool. All right. Well, hey, you guys are down, so let's do it. I'll be here next week, same time, same place. Uh, so, yeah, let's do it. Awesome. And, yeah, we can definitely talk about Block Friday stuff. So uh, that should be a fun live stream. I will have my Black Friday list out available by then for sure and maybe a video also by then. So we can definitely talk about the list and all the updated deals and stuff like that. Um, if I have any discount codes or things like that, I'll share um, in next week's live stream. So yeah, that's a good idea. We'll do it. Sounds good. Good plan. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I think I missed, if I missed your question, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get to everybody. Let's see. Question, does it bother you as with HomePod, you can't use drop-in feature, Siri can't speak custom phrases, can't control music remotely? from outside your house. Do you think an update is coming? Well, I mean, hopefully some updates are always coming. You know, they continue to update their products to support more things and more features. Um, excuse me, I don't know about specifically any of these things. Personally, I've never, con I've never cared about controlling music outside of my home. Um, I don't, maybe somebody needs that, I don't, I don't know why you would need to control music if you're not home. Um, but yeah, so that I never cared about. The drop-in feature would be nice. I mean, intercom to me is definitely good enough. I use intercom all, all the time. So it's pretty similar. The only difference is it doesn't maintain that two-way connection like drop-in does, if I'm not mistaken. So you just have to kind of keep doing the intercom. Um, and you can go back and forth and you can do that outside your house and stuff like that. So I use intercom all the time. I love that feature. Um, so for me, that's kind of good enough um, instead of like the drop-in feature. Let's see. Brian, you're going to be traveling, huh? Where are you going to, Brian? That's all right. We'll miss you, but uh, hopefully you have a good trip for your Thanksgiving break there. Let's see here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Question, do you think it would be cool if someone made a receptacle adapter to fit on a light bulb screw in type outlet and put, say, an Akara E1 camera upside down into it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I wouldn't be too into that personally. I think it would look really weird, out of place, um, in your house. I don't know. I probably wouldn't be too into that personally. 
Paul says, Shane, when you go to CES 24 Telecara, we need outdoor cameras. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I'll be sure to let them know. Uh, Tobias says, hey Shane, do you know anything about the um, upcoming EVE thermo control, the display, not the ra radiator controller, anything new about the release date? I have not heard anything new about that in a while, sorry. Um, I have not heard anything about that. Can't wait for Matter to take the camera into account so we can have more choices. Yeah, I don't. We're not gonna see. I don't think cameras for a while, but we'll be nice one day. What's your favorite mesh router setup? Mark asks. Um, I don't know that I have a favorite. Um, I like I said, I've been using. Gosh, I used Linksys for quite a while. That worked well for me. I used. Um, Netgear Orbi, uh, uh, that's what I'm currently using. I'm using their Wi-Fi 7 version. I actually was really happy with the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 also. Um, not necessarily the performance, but some of the features and like the uh, some of the available options were really cool in that one. Like that, that one had the ability really easily, like just using the app, you can go in and like for specific devices, smart home devices or whatever, you could specify like which Wi-Fi band to use per device and different things like that. So it gave you a lot of control for, you know, kind of an out of the box system like that. So the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 was cool, but yeah, I don't know that I really have a favorite, but right now I am using the Netgear Orbi uh, Wi-Fi 7 and Orbi has just been really solid for me. So, um, you know, I don't know, maybe that would be my favorite, <laughs> but I'm not really like brand loyal necessarily to a, to a router system, I guess. Uh, and ubiquity, there we go. You, you can't talk about, um, routers in the smart home world without somebody mentioning ubiquity. I have not used ubiquity. There's no doubt in my mind that they are fantastic because everybody that I know that uses one, um, uses like the Unify Ubiquity stuff, loves it. Um, I always hear great things about it. So uh, there's Frederick right there being one of them. Uh, I'm sure they're fantastic. I just have not used it yet. Uh, maybe one day, you know, if I ever, you know, redo my whole setup again, maybe one day I'll go that route. But yeah, I'm sure Ubiquity stuff is great. Everybody seems to love that as well. Um, Ty Timon G says Eero, Eero Pro works well for me. Also heard good things about Eero. <laughs> Can you also tell a car to make indoor cameras battery powered? Um, I'll, I'll tell them. <laughs> I don't know how much they listen to me, but sure. Uh, yeah, I don't like the new time change either, man. I feel you on that. Uh, question should have said outdoor fixture. Okay. I guess that makes sense. So talking about the, you know, camera that can maybe screw into like a light fixture. Um, I mean, that's kind of like, that's kind of like the Eve outdoor floodlight camera or some type of floodlight camera that's wired in my opinion. I mean, if it's, but you know, that's different. It's not a typical bulb type of deal, but you know, you just rip the whole fixture out you know, the whole light fixture, replace it with a floodlight camera, like the Eve outdoor floodlight camera. And, you know, there you go. But I, I get what you're saying. Kind of different. But yeah, that's why I like the Eve outdoor floodlight camera because of that. Uh, question in the process of setting up my smart home, do you recommend that I create a separate account for my home so that I have a device and account for all IOT devices or shall I set up from mine? So this depends if you're talking about like an Apple home or whatever, if you're setting a new Apple home setup, smart home through, um, you know, through your Apple devices, I would just say use your primary Apple home, your primary Apple ID. Sorry, Apple ID, I guess, is the correct terminology there. Um, just It's just going to make it easier. Uh, I don't really see a need to set up a separate 
account just for like your you know your home kit setup necessarily there's really no need for that if we're talking about like your apple id now if you're talking about through your router and your network you know a lot of people say it's good to create a separate network for your iot devices or a separate ssid that is something that I do and have done for a long time. And that's also another thing we we're talking about these different mesh router systems recently. A lot of those nowadays will give you a kind of out of the box, a separate SSID, uh, a, se a separate network for your IoT devices. Um, kind of like a guest network, you have an IoT network as well. So it might be something you want to do on the router side, but as far as you know, like your Apple ID and stuff, I, I wouldn't, I would just use my, my, you know, my regular account just to make things easy, less complicated down the road is probably what I would do. Well, let's see. Schlage, Schlage Lock is the all-time favorite device, the only one that has never had a problem. Yes, Schlage Encode Plus is the one I use, rock solid. Definitely love it. All right, guys, well, it has been determined that we will be back next week, <laughs> the day before Thanksgiving. So um, if you're around, maybe have the day off will be nice. Uh, we will be live streaming and it'll be right before Black Friday. So we'll have all the Black Friday stuff ready to go. I'll have all the deals listed out and stuff by then. So we could talk about that. Um, but yeah, it's been fun as always hanging out, talking smart home stuff with you guys. We had a bunch of new members today. Uh, thanks to some of those gifted memberships. Thanks to HomeKit Techie and Silverhammer Surveillance for gifting those. If you're a new member, hop over to our member Discord server. We'd love to see you guys over there. And if not, um, or otherwise, I will be on Instagram just about every day. So check me out over there. Also on YouTube. And um, be sure to stay tuned for new videos every Sunday. And we'll be right back here again next week for another live stream. And uh, we'll be fun. Can't wait for that. Thank you guys, as always, for joining and hanging out today. Have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.